firefighter's prayer. But I'm called to duty, God, wherever flames may rage. Give me strength to save a life, whatever be its age. Help me to embrace a little child before it is too late and save an older person from the horror of that fate. Enable me to be alert to hear the weakest shout and quickly and efficiently put the fire out. I want to fill my calling and give the best in me. Guard my neighbor and protect his property. And if according to your will I have to lose my life, bless with your protecting hand my loving family from strife. On this day of tribute, we remember all those who lost their lives on September 11, 2001. We remember their families and thank them for their sacrifice. Chief Edward F. Croker of the FDNY once said, I have no ambition in this world but one, and that is to be a firefighter. The position may to some appear to be a lowly one, but we who know the work which a firefighter has to do believe that it is a noble calling. Our proudest moment is to save lives. Under the impulse of such thoughts, the nobility of the occupation thrills us and stimulates us to deeds of daring, even supreme sacrifice. Sometime after September 11th, then Secretary of State John Kerry wrote, Remember the hours after September 11th, when we came together as one to answer the attack against our homeland. We drew strength when our firefighters ran upstairs and risked their lives so that others may live. When rescuers rushed into smoke and fire at the Pentagon, when the men and women of Flight 93 sacrificed themselves to save our nation's capital, when flags were hanging from the front porches all across America and strangers became friends. It was the worst day we have ever seen, but it brought out the best in all of us. On behalf of the Franklin Township Emergency Community, I would like to thank you for helping us honor our fallen heroes. We pledge never to forget and hope you will join us for next year's service. May God bless you and may God bless America.